How's it going guys? Michael Shamlin here with five quick tips for shooting night sky photography. Tip number one is to plan out your shoot. Make sure you know what the weather's going to be before you go out to the location. Um, make sure you know what position you'd like to shoot or general position the Milky Way is going to be, especially at that season. A great app for this is an app called Starwalk, which I will link in the description, but it's a good way of knowing where the Milky Way is and you can track it and know where it's going to go over time um, during the night. Also check the moon phase, which this app can also help you do. You can also check the moon phase by just going into Google and typing in the moon phase and checking a calendar. Tip number two, try shooting 15 to 20 second exposures um, for your shutter speed. Any more than that and you'll get a little bit of a star trail because the stars are always moving and your shutter is open so it's capturing the light and the stars as they move throughout the frame and that's why if you see like a two hour exposure all the stars are moving around during the frame so if you want those nice crisp stars that look completely still try 15 to 20 seconds depending on your lens that's for a wide lens if you're using something like a 35 millimeter lens something like that. I may even try 10 second exposures. Tip number three, you wanna let in as much light as possible into your camera. And that means basically shooting high ISOs, depending on your camera and what your camera can handle, you're gonna want like uh, 3200 ISO, 6400, even on a lot of the Sonys you can shoot 12,800, but just let in a lot of light using high ISO, and you want very wide aperture, so generally 2.8. Some lenses even go to you know, 2 or, or 1.4. You're gonna wanna shoot um, very wide aperture, so basically like 2.8 or lower to get in more light into the lens. Some good lenses for this, I have right here the Rokinon 14 millimeter. This is a very inexpensive lens that is 2.8 that will allow you to do that, and then I also have a more expensive lens, which is the Nikon 14 to 24, and this is also 2.8, but these are both great lenses for shooting the Milky Way. There's tons of other lenses, but just make sure um, it's a fairly wide lens and it does have the range to go to um, an aperture of 2.8. Tip number four, try and take as many different types of photos as possible with different settings. Try different settings, try different ISOs, try different shutter speeds, because you can spend a little bit more time taking the photos and you might have a few extra photos in your Lightroom catalog or on your computer, but it's better to have those photos than to not have taken them and wish you had. Especially if you find yourself needing more exposure on the foreground, you can try light painting, you can try taking a longer exposure um, you know, you can set a timer release and then take like a minute exposure or five minute exposure, but just try a bunch of different techniques, try to take a bunch of different exposures, because you can combine those exposures later in post if you'd like, or choose to use one exposure and not the other. It's just better to have extra frames than to not have shot them and wish that you did and realize that the quality is suffering because you didn't, you know, take a certain type of exposure. My last tip is to just be creative. The Milky Way is so beautiful, but try not to rely on the Milky Way being the main reason the photo is interesting. Make sure you're in an interesting landscape, you've chosen an interesting composition, you know, try and include cool things into the frame, and have the Milky Way be a part of the photo, not the entire photo. Because it's really easy to just go out there, see the Milky Way, shoot the Milky Way, and that be the only thing that's interesting about the photo. Because it is so beautiful. But just remember to be creative and try and explore, um, you know, taking interesting images that you think are unique. All right, guys, well, that's my five tips for shooting the night sky. I hope they help. If you have any more questions, just go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'll try and answer as many as I can. If you haven't already, um, you can subscribe to my channel and I plan on releasing a bunch of new videos in the future. So hope you guys will stick around. Thanks so much for watching.